Hello and welcome to XLExperts.com. Today we're going to look at the expense tracker system. If you don't already have it, you can download it from XLExperts.com. Go to the main page, scroll down on the left, and you'll see expense tracker. Click on the link, download the Excel file there. It contains no macros, so it's perfectly safe to download. Okay. When you open it, you'll get something like this. So let's just have a look at what it's trying to do. So we all know that it's the credit crunch right now, and one of the objectives that a lot of people have is to reduce spending. So what I've done here is I've gone through some of my credit card bills, and I have copied them from my internet page, pasted them into Excel, manipulated them a little bit in order to get them in the right format and then I've just pasted them onto this expenditure details page. I've then categorized them in terms of expense type so um, if you have a look I had a look at um, you know, various different types of, of expenses and um, added that category for all of those and then I've added whether it's necessary or not. So if I want to stop drinking, I can stop drinking. It's, it's not absolutely necessary if I really have to, to cut back. Um, description. So I just typed in a description for, for each one of these to help me uh, know what's going on. Um, that's the amount. I've just entered some random amounts here. And uh, what this is, is a formula that is it's calculating the year that I've spent the money and the month so all you need to do as a user of this is to enter the date here and then the year month will be calculated let's see based on this information what kind of summaries we can actually produce it's quite useful so we can produce a monthly expenditure summary by year so this is a pivot table all it does is it uses the data on the expenditure details page and it creates this nice summary of, of expenditure by month. So with this information you can also plot it. This is how much you spend per month. Uh, you can also simplify it to summarize your yearly expenditure. It's very important to know how much you spend per year. Uh, you can chart it too. You can break down by expenditure type, uh, by year as well, or if you want to select only a particular year, you just click down on that and uh, just choose whichever years you want. This is a pie chart summarizing how you spend your money. Could be quite useful just as a, a visual aid. And this is the chart of necessary versus unnecessary expenditure by year. This will give you an idea of how much you're able to cut out the unnecessary stuff. And there's a pie chart of the uh, necessary expense. So let's just show you how you would enter data in. Um, let's enter some, some new data. So um, I'm just going to type equals today. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to type and press control and the semicolon. That enters today's date in automatically. Um, I'm going to spend some money on council tax. Is it necessary? Yep, absolutely it is, otherwise I'd get in big trouble. Uh, so council tax bill uh, 100. So that appears in <coughs> 09. Let's see how this would refresh in the pivot tables. Well, to refresh a pivot table, all I need to do is click on it, right click, and then select refresh. Scroll down, and there we go. Expenditure updated. Monthly expenditure. That chart is automatically updated because it's dependent on the pivot table. Here, that's also updated. That's also updated. This is updated. So all we did was we entered the new value, updated one thing once, and we've got all of the charts 
and pivots updated. Any questions, post them on the forum or request for enhancements. Thank you. Bye.